Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to upgrade the shocks on the TRX4 Sport that I got. Now as you can see, the front shocks are really weak. <laughs> and the rears are just as... Oh, they're, they could need some help. They like to bind up and grab. So, um, originally when I made the deal for this truck, it wasn't come with shocks, it was just going to be a roller. I, uh, well, they, well, Kevin surprised me by sending me shocks with it. So, the ones that came with it, they're, they, from shipping and stuff like that, they were banged around and they developed a little bit of a leak, which wasn't a big deal. I had these old TF2 shocks for it, kicking around, that I put on, but they're also, they're old, they're weak, they leak, they're junk. But they did the trick for now. So, without further yammering here, these are the bad boys that I picked up. I got these off Amazon. They were Amazon specials first, pretty much like the first ad I saw. <laughs> it was like 25 bucks or something like that for four. All metal. They came with extra springs. They came with extra all the extra uh, gaskets and stuff like that and washers so if they do develop a leak I can rebuild them which I really like so for now we'll just take a quick look you know at the truck uh, first thing I want to do though I want to see how much flex we've got just as it is I got three tires here uh, I can stick my finger under it so let's it could be better. Could be a lot better. So we'll see if we can improve on this. Take the body off. Now, since the last time you've seen this thing, I was talking about on the trail some of the great electronics that I threw in it. This is a Holmes motor, the 540-35 turn Trailmaster Sport, the uh, POS Dynasty 1060 that I've had forever. And then I put a oh, bye -bye tire. <laughs> then I put a uh, Power HD 20 kg servo in the front. This and I 3D printed my own servo uh, mount. So it it does the trick pretty good. I, li I like it a lot. So without any further yammering, yeah, sorry I've already said that. <coughs> All right, well, let's take a look at these shocks, shall we? Look at the shock. Seems seems pretty beefy. I don't mind that. No, I don't know if I should fill them up or if I should just send them. I might just send them. And see what happens. Take take a look at them maybe off camera and open them up because this could be a pain I see trying to and open these up to fill them so I'll put them in, uh, in for now and uh, oh there we go that worked out now let's see here I'll turn this down uh, Oh geez, that's that's tight. <laughs> that is really, really tight. I don't want to grab a pair of pliers on that. I don't want to wreck it, but it is threaded. Just a little grip there. Put my wrench. enough to spin it. Let's see what we got inside here. Any oil? Probably came dry. Yep. If they all do, they came dry. Which ain't a big deal. I'll uh, throw some 20 weight oil in there and uh, we'll turn the camera back on and uh, install them. Alright guys, welcome back. I got the shocks all done. I have them in my stand here. 
this stand Protec from Protec RC. I got it from Amy and Hobbies. Absolutely love it. It with it works awesome. I do a lot of shocks, like with my slashes and stuff like that. A lot of shocks. And in case you're wondering, this is the brand that I use for shock oil. This is just the 20 weight stuff right here. This is I just put a couple of drops in each just to uh, lubricate the piston. This, you don't need to fill them because they got the dual uh, dual spring right. So I just put little, a couple of drops in just to keep the piston lubricated when it's going up and down. Otherwise, you end up with problems with like uh, fluid like lock and stuff like that where it can't compress all the way. And yeah, it, it causes issues. So for me, anyways. But yeah, this is what the the brand that I use, Team Associated Factory Team. It's what I get at my local hobby shop. So yeah. But anyways, enough uh, yammering about that stuff. Why don't we get these tire this tire off and uh, put a new uh, shocks on the front here? Oh, darn wheel nuts. I would invest in like power tools, but for this kind of stuff, I stripped out a lot in my years, and for me personally, it just doesn't doesn't pay to rush. Well, I said he does win the race a lot of the time. Yeah, it'll be nice to try this out with these new shocks. I've got uh, the other truck coming. It's going to be delayed just due to customs and stuff like that. So, but when you guys see it, you guys are going to love it. I know I did. I know Haley did. It's your truck. And that one's in. Yeah, no binding. Oh, way better. So I'll put the tire back on. And then go do the other three. And then uh, we'll be back. Alright, and with that, we've got all four sides done. And I gotta tell you, it looks way better. It feels way better, like way smoother. Nothing's binding. Should be a Heck of a, heck of a, better, way better truck now. Oh yeah, this thing was fun before. Now we should just wake it right up. And this is what I had in the front. As you can see, they're just old Trail Finder two rear shocks. I think they're what 90 mil. In the front and the rear, I had these guys. I'm not sure who makes them, but they're. I see it binds and clicks. But yeah, I'm not sure who makes these. They're pretty darn scale. I have four of them. So what I might do down the line is I might figure out what the heck's wrong, why they click and stuff, fix them up, and uh, maybe put them in a little drink. I think that look really that look way more scale than the super list you've got now. But that's you know maybe. So for now, we'll take these, put them off to the side, and. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, let's see how the flex is on this thing now. Now let's see if it'll do three tires. These are the 1.9 Falcons. The, the OG tires for like a 1.9 Barrage. ECX Barrage. So. And, uh, yeah. We're, uh, Way more flex. <laughs> Way more flex. All four tires on the ground. That back tire down there. You can't really see it. Let me zoom in. Got the nice rib happening. Yeah. 
That's a nice flex. Should do well next time it's out on the trail. Is that right, Mike? <laughs> Cheers. Still sitting there with your cooler and your beer, hey? Where'd your controller go? Oh, let's look for it. But, guys, with that, that's all we have time for. I just wanted to show you guys a quick little install on the shocks, a little update on the TRX4 Sport that we're doing. So, yeah, I'm sorry I didn't get around to doing a video on the servo, but you've seen a million of them on <laughs> online. So, and I'm you, sorry I didn't uh, open up the shocks and show you guys all the glitz and glam of adding oil and sitting there and waiting for the you know water or the air bubbles to dissipate. But you know, I'll save some of the fun for you guys. <laughs> so, but until next time, I've been Mike with Beach and RC. And uh, until this wind dies down outside, it's flipping crazy out. I'm going to uh, just continue tinkering with the truck here and see what I can uh, work out and see how I can, much I can get these uh, shocks adjusted. Make sure everything is perfect. But, like I said, until then, I might get out there and have some fun, weather permitted.